morning, everyone. Yes, the Pan Am Games have wrapped up, and they were like magic. Joining me now, Felicia George, who finished fifth in the 100-meter hurdles. This was on Tuesday, but you already have your eyes set on the world and beyond. So welcome this morning. Uh, thank you for having me. Now, first, I've got to say, you were at the closing ceremonies last night. We were having a discussion off camera about the closing ceremonies. <laughs> what would you think? I thought it was actually really great. I mm -hmm. love the little multiculturalism part in the beginning because mm -hmm. I thought I really reflected Toronto. Yes. Um, and obviously Pitbull and Kanye were amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now you're from Markham. Now you live in Vaughan. So you yeah. got family across the GTA. Everyone was out to support you on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, tell me what's that like to compete in your hometown? Once in a lifetime opportunity and it mm -hmm. was an amazing experience. Um, there were so many Canadian flags in the stands mm -hmm. and I mean anytime anybody from Canada was announced it literally erupted it was so loud and um, I mean I, I can't even describe what that felt like just you know being proud to be from Canada mm -hmm. and just give you that extra energy to compete well pretty incredible yeah. not everyone knows that you went into competition with an injury yeah <laughs> a bit of a setback it was yeah. your calf yeah um, I had a calf cramp in the heats mm -hmm. um, so I ran pretty tentatively um, through through that run yeah. um, and kind of just tried to focus up and get ready for the final and uh, put it in the back of my mind but mm -hmm. you know it's still kind of there a little bit mm -hmm. um, and even earlier in the year I had some setbacks so I mean I went into uh, the games just a little bit behind um, but I mean as an athlete you always just want to go out there and just give your best on the day mm -hmm. and I mean that's all you can ask for and you're always looking ahead because we know Beijing where the worlds are gonna be you are almost off to training again with your uh, <laughs> one of your teammates Nikita Holder was yeah. up here on Friday mm -hmm. and the whole track team team Canada is thriving and you mentioned they're very young yeah. which is amazing to say about the future of track for Canada I think it's really exciting um, we had the most medals we've had at a Pan Am Games right mm -hmm. here and I think also thanks to the amazing support that we had from everybody and um, I think it's a young team everybody's competing at a very high level yeah. it's no longer the Canadian team that's going and being a spectator and mm -hmm. having fun we're going out there to compete we're going out there to win medals and I think a lot of countries are taking notice of that we've got yeah. athletes <laughs> something that you may not know about Felicia now, now you do some motivational speaking as mm -hmm. well to, to people at all yeah. different levels yeah. talking to kids about chasing their dreams you will be applying to med school once your yeah. once your track <laughs> career is up because you are a superstar you're at UConn yes. right studying science uh, and in specialty in bio bio what was it physiology and neurobiology of course you did <laughs> because you said this is my my second career will be going to med school yeah. good yeah. for you yeah. so at what point are you gonna take that path um, you know what, I'm not 100% sure. Um, we're obviously going to go to the 2016 Olympics mm -hmm. and um, see how that goes. Um, I think I'm pushing for 2020 because yeah. um, I feel like I'll kind of be in my prime after 2016 and, and really be doing the things that I want to be doing. Mm -hmm. So 2021 maybe, uh, unless Amazing. Toronto has an Olympic bid in 2024. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about this because I know you've been pushing a lot for athletes here to mm -hmm. be able to train here because yeah. we didn't have the facilities before. Now we are slowly getting there. Yeah. Would we be ready for a 2024 Olympics in your opinion? Um, I think it, you know there's some things to work out. Um, yeah. but I think Pan Am Games showed us that you know we did a decent job. We did a good job, mm -hmm. and there's some things. I mean, Olympics is, is a bigger scale, so yeah. you definitely would have to fix some things. But I think it's definitely a, a possibility, and, I, and I'd be excited for it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck at Worlds. I'm sure we'll see more of you and hear more of you, and of course Beijing, uh, Beijing, and then we've got Rio. So a lot more to look forward yes. to. Good luck. Thank you. Congratulations for going over to you, Kev.